Hello boys and girls if any. Here I am testing the spectator mode of the Cossack 3 by spectating color feed playing uh, zero peacetime games with uh, some random opponents or maybe it's not random, I'm not sure. Just spectating color feed playing and trying to provide some comments. Color feed is playing against uh, Hunrex and they are playing as Piemont. Looks like Hunrex is going to rush for the early market, while Colorfeed is rushing for the two down holes immediately. And uh, so far, the spectator mode is working good. I can enable this visibility mode by clicking Ctrl F and disable it also by clicking Ctrl F. So, good job by the developers. Uh, so far, I really enjoy this thing. So. As I predicted, Hunrex rushed into the market, probably made some trades, sold all of his coal, and that's probably it. And now he's going for the second town hall. And also probably sold, yes, he also sold some of his iron for stone. Unfortunately, nor in the game replays, nor in the uh, spectating mode, we cannot see what actual trades are happening here. We can only observe the numbers of resources up there and guess so as uh, as expected Hunrex is rushing for two barracks immediately uh, and starting to produce pikemen although just from one barracks which is not that good especially at zero piece time game every pikeman counts well this is this is academy and second next building should be diplomatic center Come on, start producing pikemen, yes. So he finally started and now both barracks are working. We can see that Colorfeed is already sending out some pikemen around his base to scout the territory and we can also make it like this to see. And Colorfeed already has the diplomatic center and hired about 10 siege cossacks, 10 archers and then infinite production of the light infantry. These five, no, six peasants just stood here for some time doing nothing, that's slightly a mistake. Or just misclick maybe by color feed. Now color feed is sending his siege cossacks stride into the opponent's base. Because of this bug when you can just point to the place of enemy base and listen to the town, uh, to the town sounds and get the the information about where your opponent's base is. So this is a game bug, I believe. Uh, and every player is using this bug, and if the players do not use this bug, they are ki kind of a disadvantage. Because if you are not using it, your opponent is using, then you instant your opponent instantly knows where you are, while you don't know where your opponent is. So. Until the bug is fixed, I cannot judge anyone by using this bug or feature. Uh, still, it reduces some kind of a tactical move and opponents cannot just uh, play and try to fool each other by sending some uh, formations. For example, let's say, in this case, Colorfeed could send his uh, Siege Cossacks to the bottom right corner and then send them to the top corner to find Hunrex and then Hunrex could potentially think that Colorfeed is a bottom right while Colorfeed is a bottom left. So these aspects are removed with this bug. Meanwhile we can see that Colorfeed is trying to capture this gold mine with his five siege cossacks and was actually able to do that but probably didn't see it since Colorfeed is not going to blow the mine up and not going to take the peasants out. So Kunrex just easily recaptured the mine back and Colorfit lost a couple of siege cossacks. While these formations are slowly advancing towards enemy base. What do we have here? And now Colorfit has fourth level of attack and defense for his pikemen. Let's check about Hunrex. He uh, has just third level of attack and defense for his pikemen, so 
Uh, he's slightly behind. And here he's losing all of his Siege Cossacks, which is not nice, just miscontrol. And it's time to upgrade his pikemen before getting into the confrontation with color fits formations. We can see here that the peasants been taken for an attack and then they return back to nothing, but they should go and harvest the food. So Hunrex is missing here. Well Colorfeed is attacking from behind. Sneaky maneuver with his uh, <coughs> light infantry and here one brave pikeman. It's so horrifying that the entire formation of Colorfeed is running away while this pikeman is trying to kill a drummer. <laughs> this is so funny. Let's see if this pikeman will be actually able to kill someone. <laughs> Not yet. So now Siege Cossacks are just going to die over there. And that pikeman was not able to kill anyone. So once again Colorfeed is making an attack from multiple directions. Siege Cossacks capturing gold mines and this time Colorfeed taking out the peasants. And capturing another gold mine. This is very distracting when um, you are attacking from different angles. And this stopping your opponent from developing your the economy. These are archers. These are Turkish archers, mercenary. They have exactly the same uh, perimeters as a standard archer. These and these archers, both of them are identical, just different uh, images. This gold mine is empty, I believe, because Kolarfi took everything out of... Yeah, and now he blows the mine up and kills a couple of the archers. So, while uh, the army is trying to push Kolarfi's formations, Kolarfi is sneaky picky, attacking from top and from behind. And this time, instead of capturing the mine, he's just burning the mine up. When the peasants are going to attack, this is basically uh, GG, more or less. I think Hunrex did not upgrade his pikeman. Uh, he actually did, but nevertheless, it doesn't help. Yeah. This is GG, because uh, he took his army outside of his base and color it with this small... Uh, formations just captured entire base. These peasants are staying there, waiting for an order. Yeah, this is GG. Okay, now let's before you quit, let's switch to Colorfit's base and see uh, what we have here. So Colorfit upgraded the attack for his pikemen to the top level and 5th level of uh, defense. No cuirass upgrades. Uh, where is... here it is. No cuirass upgrades, no win X upgrade, and three, 3 down holes, but only two of them are working because uh, I think Colorfit was not playing seriously and just decided, well, I just put another town hall for the dwellings. That's it. Uh, statistics, nothing really interesting. If you want to, you just uh, check it yourself. I'm not going to say anything about it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.